Tonight, the Chicopee Mayor, John View, met with community members at Ward 6 at Litwin Elementary School. Thanks for joining us and welcome to Western Mass News at 10 on Fox 6. I'm Mary Wilson. This as part of his spring neighborhood meetings, which he started last month to listen to and discuss concerns of residents across the city. Western Mass News reporter Lexi Oliver was there. She joins us live in studio with more. Lexi. Mary, a lot was discussed tonight, including the status of Silverbrook Apartments, road safety concerns, and the search for a new superintendent for the city's school district, which is a topic we've been tracking closely since April, when former Superintendent Lynn Clark was arrested by the FBI. Now Mayor View is asking for the community's input on what they'd like to see in a new superintendent. We're putting a comprehensive panel together to try to figure out who's going to be our next superintendent. Chicopee Mayor John View speaking Wednesday at a Ward 6 neighborhood meeting addressing several topics throughout the city, including the district search for a new superintendent. This after FBI agents arrested Lynn Clark at her Belchertown home at the beginning of April for allegedly sending threatening text messages to a candidate for the city's police chief, causing them to back out of the running and then allegedly lying about it to federal investigators. It was later announced that she would no longer serve as the district superintendent after she was indicted by a federal grand jury. View says Al Alvin Morton, who was previously the district's assistant superintendent and has been acting superintendent since Lynn Clark was put on leave, has agreed to serve as the interim superintendent throughout next school year so they have enough time for their search. I want to make sure we do it right. It's a very important position. Mayor View says they have contracted with the Massachusetts Association of School Committees to serve on the panel, and there will be five fresh faces on the school committee who have never been involved in a superintendent search, including himself. Like I said, and some of the things that we were looking for in a superintendent is a good communicator, knowledge of Massachusetts curriculum, financial management abilities, people management skills, experience working with unions and union contracts, familiarity with chickadee issues and programs, appropriate education degrees and level, good, oh, that was a new one, that you actually like children. There was some back and forth talk about whether they want to expand that search to a national level or keep it regional, but that's still up for debate. Meantime, Lynn Clark still pleads not guilty in connection to those charges of making false statements to the FBI. If convicted, she faces up to five years in prison for each false statement made and a fine of up to $10,000. Reporting live in studio, Lexi Oliver, Western Mass News. Thank